head of itself. I just wanted to show you guys a really lovely piece of jewellery that I was sent and here it is and I'm going to go into a bit of detail when I'm back. So yeah, this is it. Hello everyone, so obviously you would have just seen me speaking about this amazing, amazing ring that I have been sent by Esmeralda. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to link everything down below so you can get discount codes, you can get all sorts of different things with this and the website and the custom service on this company is amazing. So this actual ring isn't just a ring, it's actually a Moazit diamond, so it's not the proper diamond it's more ethical it's much affordable so if you are struggling with affordable jewelry whether it's engagement whether it's just what you want to wear every day then this is the perfect thing for you so it comes in this gold little box which is super cute and that's what it looks like come with a lifetime warranty card as well so whether it gets break it scratches the color kind of goes it goes that kind of goldy color which it shouldn't but just in case like you wear it in water or something like that they actually replace it um and if it's not your type if it's not your style when you actually receive it you have 30 days to send it back and the custom service is great they are really helpful with sizing and everything like that and it comes out really really quickly the um shipping is super quick the ring is made of Moazit, so it's conflict free and most importantly it's just excellent brilliance for an amazing price so this is actually the ring that i wanted to show you you would have seen it bear in the like montage thing this is the ring that i actually want to show you it, this is it it is beautiful it's the pear cut shape it's got two different colors it's got rose gold and it's got silver and now i wear this on my middle finger i absolutely adore it it's so pretty it's so blingy it's quite big but i like it if i'm going out for a nice meal if i just want to wear it just on the off occasion just because i'm feeling fancy and it looks so so nice with some tan tans some nails but it looks perfect anyway the sizing is great and honestly when I'm wearing this I feel like I'm engaged and um, it's just a beautiful affordable ring which I cannot recommend enough. So everything I've said is going to be linked down below. You guys can get amazing deals and you can also get a discount code which will all be linked below and I'm also going to put it on the screen now. So yeah if you are interested in this jewellery then make sure you go and have a look. I would recommend you to and yes so let's get into the video. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. And if you are new here, hi, I'm Brooke. Basically today, I'm going to be doing an assumption video. Now I know this was like a thing quite a while ago, but I've kind of just brought it back and I'm like, I want to do it. Wanted to do it, but I didn't really have like many people ask me questions, but this time I had loads and loads of questions asked. So I thought, you know what? Let's um, answer them, assume some of them were like, not mean in a way but like they wanted to find it out so i'm just gonna answer them and see what you guys actually assume about so my first one is that dan is lying about his age and he's actually my sugar daddy now this one was really really weird because no dan isn't lying about his age everybody says that he looks about 30 years old and he really isn't he's 17 on the 13th of october 2002 and he is my age he i'm not lying about his age at all so yeah that one i'm hoping i'm clearing that up because literally he is my age and he is definitely not my sugar daddy i make my own money for my own self and um, the next one is that i was popular during high school and this is a kind of one that i've answered before i wasn't popular during high school i got on with everybody I spoke to everyone in my year. Our year was absolutely tiny. So we kind of all hung around together. Um, I was known by the older students and the younger students. And all the teachers kind of knew us. But I never think that there was a popular clique in our group or in our year anyway. Um, I want to do YouTube for a living. And now this is always I feel like YouTubers want to do for a living. However, I would have to be on 300k subscribers or having to do a lot of like work with youtube or like blogs or things like that to do it full time don't get me wrong i would love to do it i love it i love writing i love filming i love editing i love all that kind of stuff but you do have to have a constant income in that situation and 
no way near now would I be able to do it at all for a living um but yeah one day it would be nice to be able to but I doubt that I'd ever get there um I'm secretly rich now this is always one that I get asked and I'm secretly not rich I am comfortable I'm lucky I'm very fortunate with what I do and what I get so a lot of people say oh my god you're on a million holidays you must be rich I've been on a lot of holidays this year because I kind of they've all just come at once a little bit like my mum saves her money for holidays um, obviously bills and things like that but her like when people go out in like the week and things that's mainly for the savings for the holiday and yeah my dad and that are quite affordably they can do that but I wouldn't class myself as rich I would just class myself as comfortable um no the next one is I don't see my dad so I do see my dad but not really a lot I he lives a little he lives a bit about 40 minutes away I see him like on the weekend if I'm free on the weekday he'll come out for dinner with me but yeah I don't you're kind of right I don't really see him too much but I always like chat to him and things like that it's like nothing's happened in the family um you've had a lot of boyfriends now this is so so wrong I would class Dan as my first proper boyfriend I had a boyfriend in like year eight but he wasn't like a proper boyfriend it was like a month and it wasn't really anything but no Dan is my proper first boyfriend I haven't done anything before Dan so Dan's the the start up and probably the end up um I have dealt with physical insecurities and now this is a this is an interesting one because I had that and I also had I used to have body confidence issues now this is quite of like yeah fair enough because I used to struggle with taking pictures of myself in like bikinis I used to struggle with my weight I used to not wear certain things because of my weight and yeah I deal I dealt with a bit of weight issues and things like that and also I wouldn't like a lot of it but they weren't that bad to be fair with you guys like it didn't get to a point where I wouldn't go out and things like that but I have had insecurities but now I am comfortable with my body I'm happy with my body and if I wasn't I would do something about it um, I used to go on like loads of diets and things like that and it just wasn't good for my age I am intimidating now everybody says this so maybe it's true but they say when you first when you first meet you you think you're intimidating and I'm like I don't even notice I'm doing it sometimes like at second like at college like you can tell when girls just don't want to be your friends and then you kind of be like like, like sometimes they turn your their nose up at you but you know what that's just what life is I wouldn't class myself as intimidating but I would class myself as someone that you can tell if you don't like like I will be quite upfront and say, you know, I wouldn't really choose to hang around with you because you're either not a nice person or you give me a bad vibe because why would I want to be with someone like that anyway? Um, I'm genuine. I'd like to think I'm genuine. Uh, a lot of people tell me, you know what, you're honest and you can trust you to say the right thing. If someone's wearing a bad outfit, I'll tell them the outfit might not look the best on you today. I can be like that way. Um, my YouTube has grown and I'm proud of it of course my YouTube has grown massively recently in the last couple of weeks it has gone like up a thousand something it's amazing and I'm very proud of my little channel for growing and if you are new here please subscribe because it does mean a lot it does give me more opportunities and it kind of gives every time I see my subscriber count go up one I'm like oh yay I'm literally it's so funny um I hated secondary school now this is a funny one because I hated secondary school at the end just because of the whole drama that went on if you haven't watched that video go watch it but um I did enjoy secondary school I enjoyed the people I enjoyed the teaching at most times I enjoyed my friends and things so I didn't hate secondary school actually no I didn't I'm humble I like to think I'm humble um but some people may say otherwise I like to think that I am grateful for everything I get and everything that I have been given. I have, oh, this one was like, I have no friends and I only need my boyfriend, which is kind of cringe. <laughs> so basically, this is always like, I think a thing with girls and their boyfriends. I do have friends, like don't get me wrong, I have a group of friends, but 
I don't really see them that much. Um, basically, obviously now I'm at college, I don't really have that much time in the days and things when I would normally see them. Dan works full time until like four o'clock. So Dan will finish work and he'll come to my house or I'll go to his house. It's not that I don't think, I only think I need my boyfriend, don't get me wrong. I love Daniel to pieces. But it's also the fact that I do need friends. I need that constant support. I have Becca, I have Luan, I have some new girls. Like It's all that kind of base. And I don't only need my boyfriend, but I would spend choose to spend my time with Daniel because we are a couple. He is my boyfriend. Um someone said you don't know how inspiring you are, which is really, really nice. I don't think I'm that inspiring. I'm literally all I'm doing is talking to a camera and reaching out and chatting to you guys. But I don't think I'm inspiring. Like I don't really see that. But yeah, I was actually thinking like earlier because I'm gonna be booking winter in winter in the city, which is like summer in the city but a winter version in Birmingham. And if any of you guys are going let me know because I think I'm gonna go with my friend and I was like, I wonder if anyone that like watches my channel will be there if they'll say hi or anything. So let me know. Um my I have you they someone thinks that was difficult someone thinks that my schools saw my science videos and i wouldn't have a clue i know that my you um my youtube was watched by a few of the teachers which was kind of weird and kind of stalkerish i knew that one of my english teachers watched my videos and i knew that my school like head up department had because when i had a meet and they actually said you need to delete your vlogs and i'm like no like you don't run my youtube channel it's really weird um so they probably have seen my science videos. The girl um, that snaked on me still goes to my school's sixth form. So she's probably shown them or whatever. But they probably have seen it. And they've probably seen all the comments and the hate. But I've got my problem, Hans. Um, people hated me for YouTube. Now, this is a bit extreme. People didn't hate me. People judged me. I started YouTube in when I was at the end of year 10. And obviously when you start up YouTube, you have like a hundred subscribers, if that. And a lot of people were supportive, but a lot of people were negative. They would mock me. They would like say, oh, how's the YouTube channel going? Like the typical meanness. But now I'm in college. No one's ever said a mean thing. They might say it behind my back. They might joke around with their friends. However, I enjoy it. It's something that I enjoy and I don't really mind that. A lot of people come up to me and say, oh my God, I watch a YouTube channel. It's great. And I do think that that's because maybe it's helping them um, I feel like I'm quite a relatable youtuber and that kind of sense of like college and oh my god I'm knackered from college like that sense so I think that people never hated me people just jump to conclusions and they think oh my god it's something different we can't like that a little bit like and I think a lot of people do deal with that doing youtube and doing something that they enjoy um someone says you lied about prom you lied about not going to prom because secretly you're really naughty. No, I didn't lie about anything on my disqualification video. Nothing was a lie. Um, a lot of people have commented like, oh, of course you meant to take the picture. In the moment, I probably was like, oh, I'll take the picture, but I'm not going to upload it because there's nothing uploaded worth. I might, I don't know what was going through in my mind. That was one of my most stressful exams. I hadn't revised much for science and stuff like that. I don't know what was going through my head, but no, I didn't lie. I was naughty about back in year seven, eight, nine, and a little bit for 10, but in year, end of year 10 and year 11, I really stuck in and I really tried to get my work done and I wasn't naughty. And the reason was that some people didn't go to prom because they were naughty, but that wasn't my reason. The reason was what I said. I have a list. Now I've seen a lot of comments, mean hate comments, on my youtube which say i have a lisp and i didn't realize this i didn't realize that i had a lisp like what if i have a lisp i need to know this because i didn't know but no i don't think i have a lisp lisp i don't even know what a lisp is if i'm completely honest with you i know it's like to do with your speaking but i think i speak pretty normal um <laughs> So I said you use a fake ID and no, I don't use a fake ID. I basically, some people might see that I get into like maybe like a Ushuaia and Ibiza and maybe like, and they see me like maybe having a drink when I'm out. That's because also my mum is normally out with us and she's fine with like a drink or two because she's there, she's supervising us. And we're 16 now, almost 17, like it's that sense. 
And also, if me and Dan are going somewhere, he never gets ID'd because you all say he looks 30. People think he looks older than he is. So no, I don't use a fake ID. I um, wish I did. <laughs> um, and Jess, I am from a rich family. Now, I've kind of spoken about this, but my granddad and um, that are quite like, they're not rich, but they have got a bit of money. Um, but no, I wouldn't call for me to come from a rich family, really, no. Um, at the beginning of my relationship with Dan, I didn't find him paying. Now, this is a sticky one because at the beginning of the relationship, I did find him paying. I didn't find him paying when I first met him just because he was young. He, he was like a typical boy who didn't like wash and all that kind of, not not wash but like he was a typical boy and I didn't find them so attractive at that kind of stage but when I actually got to know him he blossomed to me his personality was paying he was attractive in that kind of sense and now I look at him and I think bloody hell you are drop dead gorgeous I'm not that pretty he's just handsome and I just think that that I think when you're in love with someone you don't care about what they look like and I do find Daniel paying I think he's sexy <laughs> a bit OTT but yeah that is what I think um someone assumed that I'm clever now I would never say I'm clever I'm not naturally clever I work for what I'm where I've come I literally have just sat doing an hour and a half of revision for no reason um well from that I wanted to do well in A levels um I wouldn't say I'm clever I would say some things I'm gifted at like organization leadership and those things help towards that someone said I have had a bad family past now this is very true I have had my dad moving away to with to Wales and um, my mum and dad divorcing my mum meeting a new man and then getting married and him being my stepdad and being a real big part of my life to him being very abusive and being um, very toxic and being a awful human and then basically my current mum's boyfriend who I love dearly um he is going through some stuff at the minute and it's all manic and I have been through a lot in my family and I think that it's just made me strong and it's made me a little bit cold hearted maybe but yes that is definitely a right assumption I might one day do a video on it but I'm not sure um you earn a lot from YouTube no that is so wrong um I don't earn a lot from YouTube. Um, sometimes, like recently, I've been doing paid promotions and I've been doing ads and things like that. And that's where I get a little bit of money and a little bit of free, free things. But I don't earn too much on YouTube. I could not make a living out of it, let me tell you that. Um, and yeah, no, I don't make too much. And the last one is, I want to marry Dan. Now, I couldn't think of anything, anyone more that I'm more compatible with, even though at such a young age, and people say, oh, you're never going to get married to the person that you married at 16. My mum did. My mum got married to someone when she was, the person she met when she was 15. And literally, I love Dan to pieces. And he's just everything I want. And if I could marry him and it was he was available, <laughs> and no, if, if it works out, it will work out and it's meant to be. But yeah, I would like to marry Dan. And yeah, those are the kind of assumptions. Um, oh no, I've got one more. Oh, you sleep with your boyfriend. Um, I think this is an obvious one. I've been with Dan for almost seven months and we have sleepovers all the time. Of course I sleep with my boyfriend. It's a normal thing. Everyone has sexual attraction and I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, if it was like, if I didn't, then... I don't know everyone has different things and i'm actually going to be chatting about that in my mum's video that i'm doing very very soon the girly chat which i'm going to be doing with my mum talking about sex periods boyfriends breakups weight loss all that kind of jazz you guys might be interested but for now that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you guys check out the amazing esmeralda down below everything will be linked please go and have a little look at their um, jewellery and yes thank you for watching until next time make sure you subscribe